you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? Oh. Oh, that's it? Sure. It's just a handshake. You probably could have shook her hand before. The moment I broke our huddle. Iris, could you do me a favor? A favor? Yes. He, uh, wants to see your boobs. Date! <laughs>I'm glad you're not in that vase over there. Good people! <laughs> I'm your nice Xavier. Welcome back to more AI or I, the Somnium Files, and we are here about to talk to our homie So Sejima, who apparently has beef with us, even though he shouldn't have beef with us in this timeline. So let's see what he knows. Let's hop right into the episode, ladies and gentlemen. So Sejima. Thermo, really? That man is burning up. Oh, okay. So much blood. Where's all this red coming from? It's Dante. a thermograph. Yeah, I knew that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he's <laughs> lying. Mm -hmm. How do I get him to admit it? Wait, what did you say before this? Well, heck if I know. Heck if the game knows either. But we'll make him confess. Call him? Great. That's the only thing that makes call sense. Call his phone again, using Shoko's line. Understood. You're not gonna pick it up? Yeah. Uh -oh. It's from Shoko. Yeah. -oh. I had her give you a call. What? What? It'll stop ringing soon. Yeah. Three, two, two one. one. See? That's my man's. Fine. I did call her. Okay. Around nine o'clock, just like you said. All right. Finally confessing? To There's what? nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. I don't think he did anything wrong. Then why did you lie to me? Because I didn't want to get involved in all of this nonsense. He is a politician. You mean all. to tell me that I am a suspect? Yeah, I know for a fact that in another timeline you stab an innocent uh, teen idol. Is she a teen? She might be. A, I think she's 18. She is 18. I'm still a teen. My call was after Shoko died. It's if true. I were the killer, why would I do that? Also true. I don't know, but I'm asking the questions. Do you have a warrant? No. I thought not. I'll be leaving now. Oh. Good night, detective. All right, good night. Sweet dreams. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The bodyguards block my path. Go home. Okay. Unless you want to get kicked out. Excuse you. Look, a UFO. Look, Look there. A UFO. He didn't flinch. Look, Mothman. Look, the Mothman. He didn't flinch. Look, a grandma. Look, a grandma. He didn't flinch. Look. <laughs> Look, a porno mag on the floor. Please Look, tell me I run. A porno this. mag on the floor. <laughs> it just works with everyone, apparently. I like this guy. <laughs> I like him too. <laughs> Date. Um, anything suspicious about so lately? No, nothing special. Not any different from any other politician anyway. All right. How many politicians have you bodyguarded before, man's? You know Shoko Nanami? I've heard of her, but I've never met her. I saw right. her on the news. Yeah. I like him. Do they both say the same thing? Uh, why does he have a burner phone? I don't know what you're talking about. He's a politician. So is Alibi? Do you know where So was Friday at 5 p.m.? Here, in the mansion. Can okay. anyone corroborate that? Maybe the housekeeper. Okay. Uh, the relationship between So and Shoko. I don't know. Even if I did, it would be confidential. That's right. Date, a minute. All right, how what many happened? minutes? So is on the move. What? Most likely in a car. What? How do you know? Yeah, how do you- Oh, are you tracking the phone? I hacked So's smartphone, and I'm currently tracking the GPS. That's smart. Not his rental You're a smarty. Phone, the one registered under his name. Oh, well, never mind. That's <laughs> that's probably smarter. Where's he headed? Unknown. Somewhere to the east. Somewhere to the east? Keep tracking him. Roger that. Good night, boys. Interesting. Where is he going?
Yeah, we never got to do a Sosajima sync. Maybe we will be able to do that. That's interesting. Huh. He's one of the characters that I just... Oh, gosh darn it. Not the warehouse. What are we about to get ourselves into? Is this man about to don a polar bear suit? This place does not bring back happy memories. doing here Date, my apologies That's all your wrong. battery is low my battery is low are you serious crap I guess it's not going to be a problem I can still see out of my right eye my vision is halved and I oh that actually sucks is it gonna like display that on the screen somehow that my vision is halved I'm interested Oh, that's really interesting. His eyes kind of, um, darken because of that. It's grayed out. What is that? Forklift B, I'm always gonna look at it. Forklift A. The hook! Uh, cardboard box. So this is a shame. Whatever we see in here, Iva's not going to be able to record. White cloth. Something is covering this the white is... cloth. What is it? So tell me what it is. What it really, really is. I'll tell you what it is. What it really, really is. It is a. It is a. It is a. <laughs> it, it is a. Be. It is a. Oh God. Iris. Yo. So she's the second victim in this one. Iba, what's your charge? Currently at 2%. Can you make a call? I can. I am connected to the power supply. What do you... Hurry. Just connect me to boss. Date, what's wrong? I found a body. What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds to the back, and one eye missing. Oh no. Location is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The victim... The victim is Iris Sagan. Iris? I'll tell you more later. Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing. Congressman So Sejima. Bring him to Abyss. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything. Just do it, please. <sighs> All right. Hmm. Bro, maybe it's you who can't survive a storyline. You're struggling, Iris. Just like Mizuki's dream. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. God damn it! Hmm. So Iris' death is definitive in this timeline. That's wild. So there's is there no saving Iris? I don't think there's any saving Iris. Wow. Do you honestly think you can get away with this? Funny, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. You know Iris Sagan, don't you? Gosh, we don't have any evidence though, and we don't, we, it's his word against ours because freaking Iva was a two per, or zero percent. No, I don't. I've never heard of her. Well, 
She saw him walk in, so that's backed up to the cloud, right? Maybe he's lying, maybe he's not. But even if he doesn't know her name... Uh, what are the pictures? Iris' pictures? Heck if I know. Let's look at it. This is the image stored in the Persons of Interest database. Oh, okay. Uh, you leaving the warehouse? I saw So walking out of the cold storage warehouse where the corpse was discovered. Right. Iber recorded the whole thing. Okay, so she Just does have that. Just before my battery ran out. That's fine. Okay, so that's not relevant. Where she was found might be relevant. No? Even though you don't know her, I don't know what you want. Visitor at 2 a.m. So should recognize- oh, do you is that all you want? <laughs> Even though you don't know who she is, you should recognize her because she's famous? Is that what you- is that what we're going for? So you've never met her before? He's an old man! I have not. Have you seen her corpse? Corpse? I know you've seen her body. Based on what? You walked- you, you were leaving the warehouse. That's important, but I need something else. Where the body was found? Iris's body was found in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Yes. What does that have to do with anything? You were seen walking out of that location. I stood up and went to the corner of the room, picked up a PC monitor and put it on the desk in front of him. This. Iba, play the video. Right away. Aye, aye, Captain. You see that? That's you walking out of there. I see. Then I suppose you know I was there. I do. Then you saw the body. I didn't. I was at the warehouse, but I didn't see any corpses there. He could- I was gonna say, that's my only fear. He doesn't have to admit to- Don't lie course. to me! It's the truth! It was under a then cover! what were you doing there? I choose to remain silent. Yeah. You what? Remain silent, as is my right, guaranteed by law. <sighs> Knock him out, Remember get into his mind. I am a politician. I know my rights. Yeah. Date, can I get a second? What? Sure. Does it matter if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long... You want me to stop beating around the bush? I certainly do. Hello, you believe that So Sejima is her killer. It was... That's, that's how it was last time. Or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow. Yeah. yeah. Why not ask him for his alibi first? Well, where were you at this time? Iris was killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? I was playing Mahjong all night at a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. Politician spending all night in a Mahjong parlor. An exclusive Mahjong parlor, yes. <laughs> exclusive, sir. It's Mahjong, you should have had three opponents with you. That's Indeed true. I did, Ew. but they were all strangers. I don't remember their names. Date, I did some research. Did you? Dora Dora is a private room Mahjong parlor. It is owned and operated by one individual. Cool. The rooms are private. That limits the number of potential witnesses. The shopkeeper might be in So's pocket. He's the only one we could ask about So's alibi. Especially if he doesn't remember any of the three people he played against. He Yikes. might as well not have an alibi. That's not much of an alibi, So. Please, this is ridiculous. It's not. First you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this? It seems like all the dots are connected to you, sir. I haven't killed anyone. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? Did you know that she was stabbed? Wait. What did you say? I was gonna say, this wasn't on the news yet. How did you know she was stabbed? So didn't respond, but I remembered. He slipped up. If I stabbed a woman. So he does know about the corpse. Because... The autopsy report. Iris's body was found frozen in the warehouse. Her right eye was removed and she suffered multiple stab wounds to her back. There were right. no other visible wounds on her body, so the stab wounds were likely the cause of death. From the size and shape of the marks, the murder weapon is almost definitely a knife. Possibly a kitchen knife. Interesting. This is not leaked. I to never anyone mentioned yet? Iris's cause of death. How do you know she was stabbed? Because Because you did it? Don't be stupid. Then how do you know? Did you see Stop it? dodging the question and answer! <laughs> Boss, give me permission to sink. He can't hide inside his own head. You've got it. 
wow. Wow, on this side, she's like, not caught in the- in Sosajima's pocket, but... Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty good. Maybe it's because we basically have proof now that he is somehow involved. And interesting, we do get to sync with Congressman Sajima. Good. Knock that man out. It will not affect the sink. Better not. Okay, Dante. Let's do it. All right. Let's see what we see in this man's head. Please don't forget the six-minute time limit. You say it every time. Sometimes I get real close to it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let us begin. What are we dealing with today? What could be inside of Sosa Jima's head? The thing that he said in the other route, killed by your own father, still irks me a little bit. That's the thing that irks me the most about Sosajima. Who's my mama? That also irks me. I don't know. Let's see what's in his head. Game, if you would please. After you. Cold storage warehouse. Oh gosh. Iba, what are you doing? Yo, Iba, some days I really worry about your sanity. Did you witness my superior driving technique? Girl! Superior? It was pretty yeah, tight. Yeah, I saw you get in an accident. Yeah? No! I only pressed the wrong pedal! Which pedal was that? Super accelerate? That's what you call an accident. Oh, look at that. What? Don't change the subject. Observe the surroundings. Well, that's not the warehouse. Oh, those are <laughs> crates. Huh. In a word, I'd say it's strange. Yeah, to say the least. Maybe this is So's corrupt nature manifesting itself. Hmm. The man's somnium is almost as corrupt as he is. I am impressed. Uh, never mind. I was gonna say, are you? Yeah, this is a real bad dream. Let's get the clues we need and get the hell out of here. Uh -oh. It's Iris. What on earth is she doing here? What is she doing here? Dying, probably. Uh-oh. Uh oh, well, that's not okay. Iris! We can't go any closer? We cannot. Silhouette we saw. This is so somnium. During a sink, we experience the subject's dreams from a third person perspective. In yeah. other words, it has to be him. I cannot say for certain, but probably. How do we get closer? What's going on? It appears that time is looping in this warped space. Time is looping? Can't you do something about that? What exactly do you propose I do? Not a clue. You're telling me I have to watch this scene over and over? I don't want to watch it either. Well then? I suppose we can help her. How? We may then be able to ask this manifestation of Iris some questions. Huh? Okay. Sure, do whatever you gotta do. Yes, we have to save Iris, no matter what. Yeah. So saving Iris is the goal. Hit me up with that sound. But to do game. that, we gotta do something about that huge wooden box. Break the box. Get an axe. A hammer. Something to break the box down. Somnium scan. Activate. Alright, hook it up. Oh. Box is number one? Jeez. More boxes are number two. Pass those. And over these barrels. Through the alleyway is number three. And then... 
up this warped area over back here. Underneath that box is number four. I'll also mention I really like the actual loop around for that one. Help Iris escape. If Iris escapes, you may discover so secret. Now here's the thing, I know we'll have two different branches from here. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> um, make an escape path. The escape path has got to be something to do with moving that box, right? The best way to move that box is to use a forklift, right? A forklift. Drive. Drive, drive. Roger that. Leave it to me. I saw your insane driving earlier. You got this. That's all you. It is time to unleash the Drift King. Drift King? Didn't you crash <laughs> a minute ago? Don't talk about that, Dante. Besides, the forklift is front wheel drive. <laughs> so you can't be the Drift King. Alright, wait, hold on. You're doing a very good job. I lied. I was incorrect. There's something here. Maybe you should jump in. You might unlock a bonus stage. Do you have the mind of a child? Foolish. A mysterious warp space suddenly appeared. Alright, so. Let's throw a pebble inside first so we don't waste too much time. Ooh. So it warps to the top of the it box. It appears to be connected to that place. That sound makes it hard to believe it was a pebble. So now that we know it was a pebble. We can a go portal. back in here. Uh, what else do we have? A bunch of warehouses. All right, a bunch of warehouses. A portal. I don't really want to put my hand inside either. I feel like I need to. Oh, maybe we can like lift it out. A portal. Maybe put your hand inside is the solution. Here? Yeah. Yeah. My hand. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. I suppose if I must. Can you pull out the box? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Oh. I've seen a boss character like this before. What? Where? Well, now you can run forward. And then you're gonna get caught here instead, and instead get stabbed in the back like 80 more times again. Lamal! <laughs> that shouldn't be funny. Are those boxes in the way too? Yeah. We do not have time to move each one. We gotta break them down. If only we could use that crane. But it's in the way of the boxes. All right, so mental lock two. Well, this one's open. Five minutes left. Doctor. I know, I know. A door to the warehouse. I'm just going, going. Where are you gonna end up? Where are you gonna end up? Other side, that's what I was hoping. Mm -hmm. That door should have led to the warehouse, but. Okay. Oh, well, that didn't really help. <laughs> oh, control panel. Is this some kind of control panel? Uh. Ooh. 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 Uh, I kind of, I really do want to input fighting game combo. Um, I don't even get any timers for this one. It's that a sucks. Control? Well, then maybe it's not the solution right now. Mm. I'm curious to see what it's it does, though. 
Uh, we'll do we'll do it's the okay. bottom one with just thirty seconds. I'll save my timing. No, it won't budge. Got it. Well, if that wasn't it. So it looks like we're not supposed to do that yet. Oh, that's warped over there. A warehouse door. Oh, we're not gonna do that. Let's go back in here. A where? Enter. Deliver. Delivery. DiGiorno. They're not delivery. It's DiGiorno. All right. Um. So we're back here. Iris Four is busy. Minutes. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Iris is busy getting stabbed this way. Over and over again, which kind of sucks, but you know that's how it be like sometimes. Um. I guess we gotta go through there, but... It's like on the other side. Ah, screw it. We're gonna come back through here. A door to Going again. We'll go to the other side. Interesting. I've wasted like a minute doing this. <laughs> Come to this one, just cause it's warped. A warehouse. Uh, well, listen, cause that one in ten looks real nice. I hear the sound of scraping metal, like a knife being sharpened. Sounds dangerous. Be careful. Well, it's not. Good. A warehouse door. It's only ten seconds. Is anyone there? Nope. No response. Even if there was someone there, they might not answer. Accurate. It's a dream. Alright, so let's go over here now that we got those good timings. Maybe so Sejima is a video game fan, and we're gonna make this real real quick ten seconds. The one that is difficult for humans to input? What? Yeah. GH region oh, combo. That one. Fine. Just be quiet. No, wait. Inputting that sequence of commands with the lever shaped like this. I think you can do it. Do it. I'll try. I'll try. You're telling me that was actually the solution? You're gonna tell me that was really the... Alright, well it only oh, took 10 moved. seconds, so I'm not really Ring that upset. Bring out! Bring out! That's a KO! <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. <laughs> My favorite tag team of all time. Where are you running to? Oh, right, in between there. So stop! You need to. Yeah, you keep getting stabbed. I wish you could fit through that gap. I'm supposed to make her smaller or make the gap bigger? So she's gonna keep getting stabbed, and that's not okay. Make an escape path is still the, the way to go about things. Um. What are the moves now? She's gotta make it through there, right? To the right? So we gotta go back through here again. Because now there will be more things to explore on the other side. Delivery! Delivery! It's DiGiorno! I'm gonna keep saying that every time she yells that. So hopefully that's the last time we gotta go through that door. Ah, uh, let's see. Right, there is more stuff over here. You can operate the crane this way. Uh, there's a... Another door this way. When you go back here, it looks like it's, it's some other things to open a this warehouse. Door. Do it for half the time. We don't got too much more time to waste. <laughs> ah, another portal. What's this? Edible seaweed made this way was thought to be a delicacy for nobles during the Heian era. Nobody needs to hear your superfluous narration. Okay. Oh, so now she's going through there instead. Which just makes her smaller? Okay. But where does she end up? Over here. And I know where this is. We could move the crane. She's gonna get stabbed again. <laughs> Is the box hanging from the crane in the way now? Yeah. Was there something under the wooden box? 
Let's just go back and look at it. Oh, that is such now. a ridiculous sound, too. Okay, maybe there's no switching path on this one. We don't get that too often. We don't really ever get that You're unless we're in two minutes, Yeah, Dante. shut up. Hurry. I'm getting there. So, we gotta come here. A crane. Uh, we're not gonna tackle it. I guess we ride it. Not that I am against it, but... Can you not climb? I don't see any place to get a hold. Then jump in. Oh, what? What are we supposed to do? Ooh. Up there, I could, like, faintly see Iris. Can I get up there? A warehouse? Knock and listen. I'm running out of time. Well, okay, we have to make an escape path. Uh, what's my map looking like? Cause we got a whole bunch of trash to get through. Uh, that's that's in the way of the box. What have we not used? We've used everything on that side. The only thing we really haven't used is the crane and the box that's right in front of us. All right, so we don't got a lot of time to waste. Box near crane. A wooden box. Hey. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just gonna go and make that two seconds. Huh? It won't even budge. That's fine. We can waste time as long as we keep getting these uh these box. like one and nines. Hey. We're gonna take that and use that. Try and push it. No, you. It is either stuck to the ground or its cargo is extraordinarily heavy. Oh, there's or a portal. You're just weak. Or you're. Or you're just lazy. Okay. Or but... your breath smells like garbage. Or, 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 or. I, I see you guys. So I understand what's going on now. That'll go. This this will move and open a portal to the path up there. But I still need to move the box. I only got a minute left too. So I gotta do something with the crane. I don't think there's anything else. We're not gonna do that. Come to the crane. crane. Do we really want to tackle it? Sure, why not? There is no point doing this by force. If we are going to move it, we have to find another way. Alright, well, let's throw something. A crane. They are giving me a lot of free time just to just uh, explore my options. How about this stone? Oh, the stone from earlier. I hit it, but nothing happened. Well, yeah. That sucks. So it's nothing to do with the crane. All right, all right. I'm out of ideas. Hmm. And we got a minute. Think. Let's think. Then that way. There shouldn't be anything down there. What is that? I can fire remember. The only thing we haven't really gone through is this portal. Left. I know, I know, I know. What is this? It looks like a premium channel before you pay for it. Alright, let's peek inside, I guess. Oh, I got smaller. If you got any smaller, you'd be as flat as a surfboard. Wow. Date, you're a monster. This is a mysterious. Alright, well, that doesn't help me out at all. I think I just need time to walk around and think. Gosh, okay, hold on. Crane, there's a portal. Walking over there will take me back on the other side of that, and the. Uh, Alright. Can't do anything with the box. Can't do anything with anything over there. Let's try going back through here. Go inside. We're gonna waste that 10 seconds. We're not gonna use our last one in eight yet. Let 
my only idea. Go back. Well, maybe we need to actually go and listen to... Because we've used the... Oh, I can't use this anymore. Alright, well then, yeah, we're going back. Because, uh, uh... We can't we, we can't win right now. Um, we'll retry from... Ooh, not lock one. From lock three. We had, like, a... That seems like a good idea. We'll go here. We had plenty of time here. You've less than two minutes. Yeah, I know. I have plenty Hurry. of time still. She's over there getting stabbed. Um, things that I didn't do. This is a new warehouse door. Thought it was the same the one. Um, it's not. Is anyone there? No risk. Even if they're yeah, I know. Well, listen a again. A warehouse door. I hear deep, excited breathing. Jeez Louise. Don't tell me. Is it a panty snatcher? Date, what on earth? Date, what the heck? All right, so that was useless to me. What is this? Oh, it's one of those things! What? Oh, that's great. I, I'm glad I found it, but, um... Not certain what I need to do yet, still. Huh. What's over here? What is this? I saw this a ways ago, but I was like, they wouldn't want me to walk all the way this way. Concrete fragments. Pieces of concrete. Take it. Are you okay? Are you okay? I want to go home. It's okay. Don't push yourself. Just give it another shot, okay? You can do it. Stop it! You trying to be nice makes me want to cry. That didn't do anything. I really have no idea what to do. Uh, we removed the large box, we removed the boxes. <sighs> Open the map again. So we're here, crane, box, portal. We've done all of those things, we've been to that warehouse, we've been to that warehouse? The, I don't think any of the warehouse doors are really doing anything. I feel, I, I feel like we need to do either something with the crane or something with the box, but I feel like we've done everything with those. So let's go ahead and investigate this, I guess. That's a long time. It is the same material that makes up the ground. Okay. Though, I am unsure why it fell from the sky earlier. So things that go through that portal come out supersize. Got it. Yeah, I get... Are we supposed to go back to the first portal and lift one the box left. ourselves? But this first portal is no longer accessible. So I guess we're running all the way over there again. Oh man, this is tough. I don't know why this one is particularly so tough. Unless there's something that I'm... I've walked through there again. I've explored all of that. All of that is too far away for me to do anything. A wooden... I've done both of those things. A crane. I've done all of those. Seconds. How about the stone? I hit it, but yeah. Hmm. A warehouse delivery. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I never walked through that door. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, boss. I'm so dumb. Is 
this I thought warehouse B and warehouse C, D, E, F, G? I thought that they were the same thing. Um... Surely it can't be the fighting combo again. It's a control panel. If it is, I'm going to go ahead. I think it's just. I feel like it's just Ray's lover. So we're just gonna do that first. Understood. Okay, so that was it. Is there something underneath it? Yeah, it's a portal. So it was just Ray's lover. All right, yeah, I made that way more difficult than it was. Jeez Louise and me. So she should fall into here, then hopefully we can close the door. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Goal! That was incredible. Wait, but we still can't- we didn't get any questions answered. It appears Iris was saved. Barely. That shadow... must be... What? What? Also, the fact that this was just a linear one... kinda confuses me. We don't often get a linear Somnium. Usually just at the ends. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. So, what did we get from that? I feel like we didn't get anything from that. That shadow, it must be. Iris was in the Somnium earlier. Sure? Yes, we saw. We saved her there, but not in real life. An unidentified figure tried to stab Iris to death. Yes. And Date and Iba. Hmm. What about us? Who is that figure? Probably so himself. True. Um. He could imagine himself in his Somnium that way. Yeah, Mr. Dante's ego algorithm processed the figure into that particular image. Mm. What are you people talking about? If you're quite done here, hurry up and release me. Okay, you can go. Why did you call Shoko? Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. Yeah, Two days why? ago, you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. Do not discuss with you. Freaking so Sejima. What's your alibi? What were you doing at 5 p.m. two days ago? Playing Mahjong. Reading a book at home. Okay. You can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. They will confirm that for you. I don't trust them. You probably that pay them well. That does match what the bodyguard said earlier. Oh, well, okay. But they're like family to him. Right. They're not above telling a lie to protect their boss. About Iris. I've been telling you I don't know anything. That's impossible. I saw Iris in your dream. You have to have some memory of her. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. You killed her, didn't you? I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. From who? What? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. Did you ever say that? I don't remember exactly what I said. It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. Boss. It also feels like you might be covering for it him. It is impossible to determine now. He very well may not have seen Iris's body. No. He still must have. He was in the warehouse. Like, why would but he be there? does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? No. Hmm. 
I don't think we can get a warrant for their arrest. Did CSI no, find anything? No, nothing yet. They arrived a while ago, but that warehouse is owned by Okiura Fisher. Yeah, I know. I know. Iba, can you check to see if it's the Okiura we know? Searching. Yeah. Uh, about the Somnium. I saw it on the monitor. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Kicking that man. Of course, since you and Iba are one in the same, it's like you saved her, Date. Mm, hush. But that was just a dream. It's not real. Yeah, I know. Saving her insomnium won't save her now. Look, man. I'm sorry. Are we gonna arrest this man? Are you kidding me? What? Yeah, you know no. that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. Well, why not? Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was so. Yeah. You said <coughs> it was. That's my I thing. said that it's probably him. Um, excuse me. What? I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. Whatever. Oh, that's the boss. Peter, do you have anything useful for me? First, I'm gonna save because we've been playing for a for a minute. Uh, menu. Gosh, I keep hitting the plus button because the plus is usually I'm so used to the plus or start button or just being perfect menu time. All right. Data save. Peter, what's good? I know how syncing works. During the sync, this yeah, 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 yeah. Picture the sinker's yeah, memory. Yeah, because they're a witness, and you are but your to be precise, only the ego. Imagine separating an egg yolk from its whites. No matter how you try, some of the egg whites will always stick to the yolk. That's true. This is just like that. Okay. About the mysterious figure. The subject of the sink remembers certain persons or objects that appear in Samia. Right. But they might not have a clear form. Our dreams are sometimes fake or unclear after all, hmm. even the subject of the dream themselves. I told you earlier that the sinker experiences the dream from the perspective of an observer. Hmm. That is why the person creating the dream can appear within it. Right. But perhaps they do not have an objective view of themselves, like a mirror or picture. Perhaps he's never watched himself on television. I don't believe it. Rare for a politician. I was gonna say he's a politician. Not unheard of. Hmm. He lacks that objective picture of himself. Hmm. All right, here. <clears throat> Ego algorithm. Imagine the human brain as being made up of two elements. Okay. Memory and algorithmic structure. Okay. The former is preferable because the latter can be problematic. It can output things based on the inputs it is given. Like you're piping things from one command into another. To make this easier to understand, compare this to a computer. Sure. Memory is like your data stored on a hard disk. Right, stored on the hard drive. The algorithm is the program. This program controls everything, from higher cognitive functions to primitive instinct. Cool. This program is what creates the phenomenon of consciousness. Continue. In short, it is your ego algorithm. What you call your mind. Recognition, cognition, consciousness. Okay, what else? All of these processes are incomprehensible without the ego algorithm. Okay. However, the Wadjet system is revolutionizing the way we think about consciousness. The Wadjet system controls my core programming. Hmm. Using Wadjet, we could map the neural circuitry of the human brain. And we discovered a specific circuit that is key to the phenomenon of consciousness. However, we human beings are still unable to fully grasp it. It's far too complicated. But even if we don't understand it, we can still use it. You don't have to understand electromagnetism to use a microwave oven. Which is a phenomenal comparison. The Wadjet system is how we are able to extract the sinker's consciousness. That is what makes sinking possible. So I shouldn't have to ask how it works. I think we During got this. a sink, the sinker's consciousness, or ego, is brought into the subject's somnium. They enter the subconscious mind. 
or more accurately, sink into it. At this time, the sinker's memories are left in their original body. Okay. Picture an egg. So just the, the ego. ego is the egg yolk that goes into the subject's brain. Okay, cool. So just the ego goes into the brain. The sinker's memories are the whites which remain in the shell. Hmm. The sinker, or rather the sinker as their pure ego, experiences the subject's somnium. Okay. But to be precise, it is not only ego. When synced, a modicum of memory data does get sent into the subject's brain. Imagine separating an egg yolk from its whites. No matter how you try, some of the egg whites will always stick to the yolk. Hmm. This is just like that. Interesting. Okay, now there's a phone call. Okay, never mind. Let's go. Date, the investigation team is calling. Sure. This is Date from Abyss. What happened? What you got? Hey, sorry to call you out of the blue. Hmm. There's something we want to check. Now a good time. Sure. Sure, what is it? <laughs> Now's a good time as any. You said you found a body at Okura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Yes, that's right. Is there not one there? Okay. Why? What happened? It's uh, not here. What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. Maybe it got up and walked away. I don't know. Sosajima's up to something. What do you mean there's no body? Well... Yeah, we looked everywhere, but... nothing. Date, I am not doubting you. However, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I saw it. I know I saw it. I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Then perhaps someone moved the body between the time we left and CSI arrived. Is it possible? No. There's another possibility. What? There is? You gonna fill us in? Okay. I guess we're along for the ride. Iris's house? D Date? Iris! W what are you doing? Barging in without ringing the doorbell? Mizuki! <laughs> You see, Mizuki ended up staying at my place. Um, something wrong? The world. <laughs> something wrong? The world. Changed. What? It's just how sure are we that that was actually Iris? Because I... I don't... I still don't buy it. Iris's hair is way sh shorter than the person who we saw. It looked a, a smack dab like Iris. It looked very similar to Iris, but I still don't think so. I don't think it was Iris. At least I don't think so. It's, it's possible. Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. That's not how dreams work, Date. She wasn't killed. True, but that was only a dream. Maybe the dream changed reality. That's not how it works. Impossible. Then how else would you explain it? Iris came back to life. Uh, a dream changing reality. Date and Iba saved Iris Insomnium. Okay. And that changed the history of the real world? Hmm. Well, I guess it's not impossible. What? That isn't what you said yesterday. That was then, this is now. <laughs> a woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I like boss. Anyway, 
I believe in Date. Thank you. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. Likewise, except you from the other timeline where you shot Sochijima in the face. I don't I don't know if I trust that one. About Congressman so. Sejima is suspicious in more ways than one. Mm -hmm. Exhibit A. Three days ago, so called Shoko Nadami's phone. Right. We still don't know exactly why. He only told us it was meant to be private. Mm -hmm. Exhibit B. Sosajima was at Okura Fishery Warehouse last night. Right. But he didn't inform us of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Exhibit C. So was in Iris's Somnium. Iris was in So's? Is that a typo? So was in Iris's Somnium. It is a typo. Wow. Dreams are constructed from memories. Okay. Yet the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. Part of me believes it's probably fixed in the PC edition and they didn't patch it for the Switch. So where's so now? I sent him home yesterday. You released him? What was I supposed to do? We didn't have evidence to hold him. We can't hold him without solid proof. Exactly! Exactly! What we saw with Iris hasn't happened yet. In any case, we have to speak with him again. Yeah. Stranger things have been known to happen. <laughs> Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki's Somnium. Then he found it in real life. It must have been a prophecy. Boss. There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. <laughs> boss is a... Yeah, I was gonna say boss is... <laughs> uh... And not an open book, but she a knack for change is one of her good qualities. Not having beliefs is what she believes in. I like that. That's how she established herself as a major, a major player in the police department. Because she believed what she wanted to. Yo, Boss is an OG. She is great. Boss is sitting on the desk. Boss is one of my favorite characters. Uh, Iba. It is absurd. Not possible. Dreams are figments of the imagination. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. That is preposterous. Consider it. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? Uh, if you're having a dream at the end of the month before the bank interest kicks up in your savings account. If you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? Uh, if you happen to have that dream on the day before Independence Day. But at the warehouse, <laughs> I... I'm goofing. You must have been hallucinating. Mm -hmm. Within Mizuki's Somnium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. No, that was... This... It is affecting your mental state. No. Last night, you were so phased by it that you couldn't speak. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? That's a good point. Uh, where is Iris now? Probably home. Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. Oh, that's not home. Rinju, do you know where he is now? Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. Mm. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. Right. Mizuki, daddy got caught in some serious business. Come to Bloom Park to marry go around right away. Those daddy is gonna There die. are three possibilities. One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. I believe that. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. Don't believe that. Three, the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. Don't believe that either. In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. Renju? Where did you go? Where is Renju? Yes, that's where we want. You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? That's true. It is possible she may have something for you by now. Also true. Alright. Oh, so they're just giving us a list of places to go. Ask Momo for information too, but I promised him a meeting with Iris. Momo can wait for now. We can talk to Iris's mom as well. Alright. She was Renju's classmate, right? Iba told me about her. Yes. Uh, in the, in the fishery. Tell me about that. I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. Yes. The same Okiuras we know. I would assume so. Renju's father created the company. Alright. Well, we know Another this connection much. to Renju. 
No, actually. Same story? Currently, the company has been managed by Ops. Renju holds no shares and is not in He did not inherit the company from his father. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly is suspicious. All right, cool. What else? What is there more about this place? I would suggest searching the warehouse again. Okay. You may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. Okay. That's different. Uh, what else? I don't know. Summary. Summarize for me. There are four people I should talk to. Mm -hmm. So Sejima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. So we have places. many avenues of investigation. All right. Let's get moving. Let's get going. You got a lot of places to go. If there's a place you gotta go, I'm the one you need to know. I'm the map. Let's just start at the top and go all around. So Sejima is a key person of interest in this case. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. Agreed. I checked the call logs of So's phones. Congressman Sejima has one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. Okay. Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. Really? I'm certain he's good at covering his tracks. But I do have something. What? I looked into So's secretary's phone. Interesting. One call in particular stood out to me. Huh? It was one week ago, from Fuchu Prison. Ooh, interesting. The caller identified themselves as inmate number 89. So 89 has uh, creeped himself in this side too. Number 89? Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. Hmm. I know who killed Shogun Adami. What she got for me? What's he in jail for? Murder. Okay. He is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. He was an assassin. He was imprisoned six years ago. Six years ago? I'm still curious. Who was 89? From what I can tell, <coughs> he is an assassin. Oh, well, yes, there we go. He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. Mm -hmm. His code name is Falco. 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 Smash? Correct. What was the point of that? At least the name Falco made me go do 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 do. I that's still curious to me. I don't really understand what causes it. Uh, what's the relationship between So and Eighty Nine? Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. Number well, Eighty Nine said he knew who killed Shoko. He did, but that may be a lie. Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Unknown. In all honesty, I have no idea. Do some better Googling. What's number 89's name? Unknown. Well, you don't know? He is not registered in any databases. He <laughs> could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. However, I did not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Interesting. Summarize for me. Number 89. Should we visit Fuchu Prison? No. We don't have time. Call up boss. Tell her to request that number 89 be brought to Abyss. Maybe we'll sync with him again. Roger. I almost forgot what we, that we synced with him in the other storyline. What did that sync reveal? It just revealed some stuff about... Not really too much, if I'm being completely honest. Hmm. Let's go see our best friend Sosajima, who's... Died in every line so far. I so heard there was no body found at the cold storage warehouse. Isn't your investigation over? No. Never. About 89. Number 89? Who is that? Never said it was a who, I just said number 89. An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. I hate your smug smile, so What about Shima. About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. 
What else about him? If you need information, you can ask her. I can't help you. All right, I'll ask her. Why'd you call Soko? You are beginning to irritate me. You too, the feeling's mutual. What did you want to talk to her about? What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. Yikes. <sighs> We're not gonna get anything from it. I told you, I will not answer that question. Why not? And why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. It appears that he will not respond. Can we just shoot him? How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know that girl. Are you a fan? I've never seen her before. Date. I knew he was lying. This proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. Yeah. After all, Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her he doesn't want us knowing. What are you hiding so? Huh. Haven't you people got enough? I'm very busy, excuse me. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. No oh, actual information? To be honest, Kaname Date, I don't like you. Nope. I don't ever want to see you again. Well, you will be sitting. I'm sure you'll see me again in the So story I suggest line. that you don't show your face here anymore. Oh, well, I have nothing to say to it's you. It's what's suck. best for both of us. Understand? Are you threatening me? I've killed you in one storyline. I will do it again. Who does this guy think he is? Congressman Dante, Sosajima. Your blood pressure is skyrocketing. Any higher could kill you. Jeez. <sighs> Relax, Date. We still have much to do. I know. Yeah, I know. Gosh darn it. Sosajima kind of ticks me off, if I'm being completely honest. Mom. You need more info on Ren? That's right. I'm sorry to waste your time, but I don't have anything for you. I see. Well, tell me. Why are you always brushing my I fish? find it calming. All right. Why is that? Don't ask me. About Renju? You know about Renju and the Kumakura gang, right? Yes. Yeah, I know. I heard it from his own mouth right here. What? Do they have anything to do with the talent scandal at Lemnisgate? Maybe now they do, since Renju is the president of Lemnisgate. That's fair. But even before that, Renju and the Kumakuras go way back. All the way back to high school. They go way, way back? Hey, Date. Have you ever seen a dead body? What kind of question is that to just ask to somebody at a bar while you're having drinks? I remember Renju saying that to me and... He and I went through a bo after I, he and I went through a bottle. You're a policeman. I don't know what department, but I assume you aren't handing out traffic tickets. Well, think again. So, how about it? I didn't answer. I turned the question around on him. What about you? Me? Well, yeah. Just, just casual. Not yeah. Just one. Countless bodies. Countless. Date's like, uh. <laughs> When I was in high school, I had a pretty crazy job. Alright. You know the Kumakura gang? We all have crazy jobs in high school. Uh, t-shirt salesman, uh, a celebrity mascot, uh, uh, I got nothing else. I was hooked up to one of their phone fraud scams. I just had to go collect the money from drop points and give it to the Kumakuras. That's not a bad gig. It was an easy job. Eventually... I became friends with the higher-ups. Well, now you're in deep. They started taking me with them on jobs. Hmm. What jobs? The target was always an elderly person from the country with no family. Hmm. Elderly folk who owned a lot of land, you know? They live every day in loneliness and desperation. Ooh. You just have to be nice to them. That's all it takes. You guys would get to know the old people and they would set up an adoption process. After that, wow. you just have to get them really drunk. Throw them in the tub full of hot water. So they would just find old people and then get friendly with them, uh, get adopted, and then toss them in a tub of hot water? And they pass. Like that. Attack, brain hemorrhage, or they simply go to sleep and drown. Oh god. The police almost never investigated. It always looked natural. Like they died of old age. Alright, well I won't lie, that's clever. That's a clever scheme, but it's awful. The adopted gang members would inherit the land. Then we huh. sell it and make massive profits. I watched a lot of people get killed like that. 
And I've seen journalists get killed for getting too close to the truth. Mm. So I... I... Did you kill them too? Why am I telling you all this? Are you going to arrest me? Yes. Took a sip from my glass and didn't say anything you for a while. You didn't do it yourself, right? No, I was always the lookout. But still... Date, I... What kind of Mizuki... What family... This Mizuki's family is awful. We didn't say another word until the ice in the glass had melted to nothing. Huh. How's it going? Well... I could use a little help down there, if you know what I mean. No. I do not know what she means. Perhaps you should take her up on her offer. No! Absolutely not. Thank you. One of us has sense. Do you know 89? Oh, Falco? Uh, <laughs> you know him? You know know him? I know him as a famous assassin in the underworld. Okay. Uh, just rumors, though. Nothing specific. All right. What kind of rumors? Mm, he's good. 100% success rate. No evidence. That is pretty good. He's a world-class killer. Did you ever meet him? Nope. <laughs> I don't even know what he looks like. Any other info? I know he's connected to the Kumakuras somehow. Somehow, somewhere. Them again. Well, that's about it. <laughs> Alright, summarize. I don't have anything else for you. Sorry, I'm not much help. That's fine. No, don't worry about it. Can you come back again tonight? There's a regular here who is good friends with Ren. Ah. They should be here tonight. If you ask him, he might have some information for you. That's useful. Tonight. Yes. I'll be waiting for you. Dope. All right, well, on to Iris's house. Let's go. Iris's house. Gonna see Iris and her mom. Gonna see Iris and I her apologize mama. for yesterday. Gonna see them all. Iris said. Oh, oh. Oh, Iris isn't here. Never mind. My bad. I arrived uninvited. You're fine. No, I'm grateful. Yeah, I am. Thanks to you. Mizuki has her voice back. Right? No, I didn't do anything. You, you did play! You, the, we were there for her when nobody was here for her because I was busy trying to find out who's trying to scoop people's eyes and... and I don't know. I'm, where's Renji? You know about him. You asked me that yesterday. Did something happen to him? Those are two different lines. There's no point in hiding it. I told her about Renju's disappearance. Right from the hospital? Yeah, he just got it. He up and left. I don't know why. Well, I kind of... I still really don't know why, if I'm being completely honest. I'm sorry. I have no idea. Man. Uh, about Iris. I put Iris through so much. I was 19 and single when she was born. People didn't take kindly to that. But Iris was such a fighter. She always protected me. Oh. I remember, one time at the nursery, some of the other mothers were talking about me. Mm. Iris ran up to them and said, Don't talk about my mommy! Wow. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the mother, but it's Iris who's always protecting me. Oh. Iris is a good kid. They died when I was 17. Your parents died when you were 17. How old are you now? I was an orphan, and my relatives lived far away. They might have taken me in, but I was already in my second to last year of high school. It wasn't a good idea for me to move that late. So I decided to stay here, by myself. And take care of Iris. Yes. All alone. Oh. But Renju would help sometimes. Renju's a good boy. Well, Renju's a good boy. Uh, about Iris. It was always just me and her. Vacations, barbecues. Zoos, amusement parks. Just me and her. Oh, that reminds me. When Iris was five, there was a children's theater show in Bloom Park. Hmm. It was called Milky Moon. Milky Moon. It was about girls as magical space rangers and such. She loved singing and dancing. Even as a kid, whenever she heard music, her body would start moving. It was Angie did a it quirk? at the show Wait, hold too. On. I skipped that completely. It was a quirk of hers. Where's the log? Ah, forget about it. Toward the end, when all the Milky Moon girls were dancing to the ending song, 
Iris climbed up onto the stage and danced with them. Oh. I tried to stop her, of course. I was gonna say, there's sometimes there's just no stopping a child from going to let them do what they want. I grabbed her arm and tried to get her to sit, but before I knew it, she was up there, dancing. And everyone was so excited. And thus she became an idol. Even I was dancing by the end of it. When it was over, she had the biggest smile on her face. Mama, you're a good dancer. That's the kind of girl she was. I guess more about Iris. There's a lot about Iris. Whenever she sees someone playing music on the street, she'll run up and join them right then and there. Music at the train station, the crosswalk beeping, even at convenience stores. When their little chime played, she would start dancing. So that's her weakness? It almost got her into trouble once. I'm sure it got her into trouble plenty of times. She was on the jungle gym and a truck drove by. Mm -hmm. It was playing loud music out the windows. Oh gosh. She climbed up to the top and started dancing. Did she fall? But she lost her balance and fell. She fractured her leg pretty badly. Ugh. It was on a Sunday and it was hard to find an open emergency care. Interesting. I was carrying her on my back, running and running through town. I could still hear her crying. Will I still be able to dance, Mommy? Can I still dance? That's really sad. She cried and cried into my shoulder. Not sad, because she's still fine, but still, that's a sad moment. It was the only time she ever cried so much. That kid loves to dance. Uh, no, um, that's not true. There was one other time. You got shot? Six years ago, I was the victim of a shooting. I figured. After the surgery, Iris came in running. Mommy, don't die! Don't die! <laughs> Please don't die, Mommy! Has her hair just always don't been pink? Die! She had natural pink hair? Poor child. I swore that is a myself. scary moment for a little kid. I would protect her, no matter what. Iris is everything to me. More important than my own life. Well, if there's ever a motive for some reason... I, we haven't done a somnium into your brain yet. You have the day off? Yes, today's a holiday. Iris isn't in school. She went to Lemon Escape. Summarize. Iris must really enjoy dancing. Yeah. Though her drawing skills could use some work. Drawing skills? Look at the drawing on the wall. That? I've been wondering about that picture. Oh, right, this picture. Iris drew it when she was 12. The one we filled him with blood in one of the other somniums. It's you on the left and Iris in the middle, correct? Mm. Yes. And who's on the right? Falco? The man I was dating at the time. It was only for three months, but... I met him about six years ago. Have you been to the Kume Shrine in the Minato district? Yes. I was sure praying am. there one day and I heard a voice. Mm. Well, more like a groan. Behind the shrine, I saw a man sitting on the ground. He was bleeding badly from his stomach. I took out my phone to call an ambulance, but he grabbed my wrist and he held me and then I was shocked, but when I... Then I heard footsteps, and then a bunch of men yelling. They were looking for him. When the voices and footsteps faded... We've heard the story. Don't call an ambulance, and don't call the cops. We heard the story from him. I knew he had to be a criminal, so I took him to an underground clinic I knew. You took him to a mob doctor? Renju's friend. I only met him once. I keep forgetting that Renju has a whole bunch of mob friends. Even though we had our first kiss seconds after meeting each other, it took a long time before I got to see him again. The first time we held hands was when we watched a horror movie together. The first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house in an amusement park. Y'all really love the spooks. <laughs> but I wasn't the one who grabbed him. A zombie jumped out and scared us, and he clung onto my arm. He had that cute side to him. And I was falling in love. <laughs> Our second kiss was in the car. It's cliche, I know. But we drove around at night, looking at all the lights. We parked our car near a warehouse. 
and kissed. Hold on. I'm sorry, I'm just remembering something now. Because in our very first Somnium, right? The one that Iba was in our dream. We saw... 89. And we saw her shot. Right? Which means we had to have seen that in actuality, which means we would have had to actually meet her before. Because you can't have a dream about something, or someone rather, that you've never ever seen before. Is what the rules for this game have put out. Hmm. That's actually really interesting. I didn't think about that. Alright. Keep on keeping on. You keep telling your story. I don't think we ever said I love you, but we both knew. You were getting closer and closer. I introduced him to Iris about a month after I first met him. Mm -hmm. Iris never had a father figure in her life before. She warmed up to him immediately and treated him like a real dad. From then on, it was always the three of us together. We would go to the beach, to the river, the zoo, the amusement park. All the places you named earlier. Going to barbecues with another person was a new experience for me and Iris. Oh. Everything felt so fresh. Every day was so exciting. Oh. Oh, sorry. You asked about the picture. That I did. You wanted to make okonomiyaki one day. Okay. I was working with the hot plate. Okonomiyaki? What is that? It was ridiculous. He was trying to flip one, and it flew up in the air and landed right on my head. Iris saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed. I hadn't seen her laugh like that in a long time. I was having so much fun that I put an okonomiyaki on their heads, too. Okonomiyaki. Plop, plop. I added the bonito flakes and mayo and sauce. Oh, y'all just made a mess. At this point, there was no going back. Eggs flew, <laughs> flour going everywhere. There was no going back. Eggs flew. Flour went everywhere. Demons rose. The room was not a pretty sight. After a battle, we laughed like crazy. After the battle, I laughed like crazy. <laughs> we were rolling around on the floor. So Iris decided to draw it. It's nostalgic. But those days didn't last. Six years ago, in November, a man with a gun broke into our house. Fortunately, Iris wasn't home at the time, but my boyfriend was. That's why the gunman came. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him and he would never stop. He pulled the trigger. I tried to protect him. The bullet hit me, but the police arrived. So you didn't die. They were both arrested and incarcerated. And that'd be number 89. Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. I don't feel like 89 is the original Cyclops killer. I don't though. know the details, but it was awful. So he became a target for underworld criminals. I don't know exactly why, but I know that he betrayed them in some way. May I ask you something? Of course. What was his name? I had heard that that incident was a random break-in gone wrong. Oh. That's not true. I didn't think so. I lied about it at the time, because of Mizuki. Mizuki is Iris's friend. If she found out, Iris would find out too. That's fair. I didn't want Iris to know. Know what? That I was dating a criminal. Yeah, I guess you did know that you were dating a criminal, but she didn't. It was her father figure. Iris looked up to him. If she found out about his past... And she would grow up to be a criminal, too. There's a drawing on the wall. Iris drew when she was 12. Six years ago. She's 18 now. Summarize. Date, we can't spend time reminiscing. Yes, we can. We have to get moving. All right. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's hit up Lemnus Gate. Lemnus Gate. right now aggro girl who says that nobody why are you angry 
You backed out on your Shovel Forge promise. I don't think we ever promised to play Sorry. We, we promised a date. I didn't make any promises. You promised me a date, though. I did go to your house. <laughs> Not Two minutes before midnight? And you didn't even take me anywhere. Yeah, because we only had two minutes. That's fair. We could have gone somewhere. It was, a, it was a staycation. It was a stay date. It was a, a night in. Itura, Kunashir, Shikotan, Habomai? You're just making up words. Absolutely not. Then you should have come earlier. Well, uh... I was busy. You were dead. Hello, receptionist. I want to know where Renju is. You seen him? I want to, too. Oh. We've been looking for him. We've been getting so many calls, it's hard to keep up with. I'm sure. Uh, I want to know your measurements. Um, I'm 5'4". That is clearly not what you meant. Uh, maybe it was. Uh, what's your type? Blood type? Wow. I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. Yo, I don't know why the receptionist is such a freak. I cannot even picture that. Can I have your contact information? Um, why? Well, because it may lead to something in the future. Accurate. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Date, we're on an investigation. Just let me have this. <laughs> um, oh gosh, it's one of these. Alright, let's just go for it, you That's guys. Enough. I'll come right out of your eye socket if you don't stop. I'm serious. I'm going to pop out. Uh oh. I became. Uh, I flew out of my left eye and started dancing on the desk. The receptionist immediately fainted. Iris saw the whole thing and also fainted. And so my story ended. Oh, that was way less entertaining than the other one. I gotta go all the way back to that. But I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to ask her for her information. Can I still ask? Nope. There's a receptionist behind the desk. Oh, you didn't even do the, the thing about her. Okay, we'll just go over here. How you doing, Iris? I saw your body. Iris, promise you won't laugh, but I saw something at the cold storage warehouse last night. What? Your dead body. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to laugh. But come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. Well, I saw you dead. Look, not I can there. Jump around. Woohoo! Stop. I'm serious. In my dream, I saved you from being killed. And here you are. Which is why I was like that when I went to your house yesterday. I'm sorry. There's no point in telling you all this. <laughs> no, it's fine. Sorry for laughing. I just didn't know what was up with you. Huh? I believe you, Date. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. A parallel world. Another bizarre explanation. Well, at this point, I don't know what the explanation is. What, what else do you got for me? Where's Renji? You've seen him, right? What about him? Where is he? Where is he? Told her about Rinju's disappearance. A traffic accident? Yep. I'm worried. I think we all are. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. Alright, well, uh, do you know Sosajima, the politician? I've seen him on TV. Ever met him? No. <laughs> not at all. No, not at all. Why was your phone off yesterday? I oh. know you were mad about our date, but. Oh, this is a good cover up. Why was your phone off? I couldn't get a hold of you. Um... About the late night visitor. I forgot about that too. Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. And then we never saw her again because I thought we all thought she was dead Who at this was point. It? And you left the house as well. Where did you go? You really want to know? Yes. Yes. And you'd do anything for the answer. Yes. <sighs> All right then, Shovel Forge. No. no. Then go on a date with me. Again, no. But you owe me for 
yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. That's true. Objection. Objection. All right, right? Even if you did get a hold of me, you didn't want to see me anyway, right? Even if you did get a hold of me, desk slam. You didn't want to see me anyway, right? <laughs> Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. Oh, man. Okay. <sighs> uh, I have the day off. Off? Yeah, from school. Oh, yeah. It's a holiday. So I decided to come to Lemniscate. We're going to do a recording for a show soon. Okay. Uh, summarize for me. So, what are we doing? What do you mean? For our date, of course. Oh, gosh. I think we have to. Fine. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, objection! Yay! So you'll play Shovel Forge with me? No. I will not. So we'll go on a date then. Sure. Uh, yes. Fine. Deal. Iris has blackmailed me like three times And in you this game. have to honor our agreement this time. I can't believe it. But we can't go right away. What? I have a recording coming up. Okay. I should be done by three, though. Tessa, we're starting soon. Got it! All right, I'll see. So, Date, meet me back here at three? All right. If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. Anyway, bye for now. Peace. Bye for now. Peace. Iris smiled and strolled over to the studio. There is no point remaining here. Let's get moving. Ding, ding, ding. A cold storage warehouse. Maybe we'll find some clues. All right. Uh, when Iba left my left, uh, with Iba in my left eye socket, I walked into the, sto the cold storage warehouse. I could see my breath. Looked around, si uh, shivering. Nothing seemed to change from last night, though. All right, this is where she was. You first arrived here yesterday at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. At that time, Lying on this workbench was... Iris's dead body. The dead body of Iris Sagan. But the second time... The corpse was gone. It was 11.25 p.m., but the body could not have simply vanished. Crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. When did they arrive? According to the report, 10.30 p.m. 10.30? After we finished sinking with so. It took them an hour and a half to get here? Correct. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. Ooh. The report does not specify. Hmm. Perhaps a result of outside influence. Ooh, so so Sajima outside did have something influence. to do with this. In any case, there is nothing of note about the bench. Examining it will not reveal any further information. I'm gonna click it again anyway. It's a workbench. There's nothing on it. Alright, well now it's gray, so I guess there is nothing. Alright. A forklift. It doesn't yes. seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. All right, well, that one's icy. Tires on the forklift are... Uh, the tires of the forklift and the ground they're on are clearly frozen. All right, cool. Uh, B. A forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Well, this one's not frozen. Normal forklift, all right. Uh, the crane? The crane on the ceiling. Nothing has changed. Crane on the ceiling? Is there anything different? Am I missing something blatantly obvious? Is there something over here this time again? No? Okay. Uh, this is barrel? There are numerous cardboard boxes on the shelves. That's not what there I wanted. There is nothing abnormal about them. Was this barrel not tipped over? Oil Hi, barrel. I'm Jermaimon. Gosh darn it. about the jokes? You've got to stop. An oil drum. It doesn't have any magical pockets though. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, what? Shelves with boxes. Uh, what am I missing? Switchboard? A switchboard. Is there anything Nothing different about seems it? Out of the ordinary. Okay. Switchboard. Uh, is there anything in this box this time? This cardboard box on the floor, there's nothing in it. Crap. This box? It's a wooden box. There is nothing inside. Oh, the saw is. Oh, the saw wasn't there last that time either, though. Is used to cut ice. Do they store ice here? That's different. Ice cutting machine. Well, that's never mind. Do they store ice here? Is there some sort of ice somewhere? I know that thing has never been used for ice when I've seen it. Uh, the shelves are there highlighted. There are only a few items on the shelf. 
I think there's only like one item on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. Uh, this is storage space. We searched the warehouse again. We didn't find anything. You know, this was pointless. Nothing. But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. That's interesting. What do you mean? I was just thinking out loud. Finding nothing may, in fact, Let's be something. Date, your temperature is dropping. At this rate, they might find your body in here. You get out of here. All right, well, I guess we'll go to Abyss now, right? All right, let's go. I return to, I return to Abyss with Iva. I needed to talk to the boss. As I entered the room, the boss smiled like she was waiting. I took care of what you asked for. Number 89? He's here, in the interrogation room. I'm on it. You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. One of the higher-ups needs me. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Okay. Understood. Okay. This happens. Let's get started. Any time we think about A9. How many people have you killed? I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. What's your name? Number 89. Your real name. I don't know. I forgot. Well, remember. Where are you from? Djibouti. Northeast Africa. A small republic of roughly 900,000. <sighs> you have terrible jokes. I don't see kindly to stupid lies. Why did you call his secretary? Uh, you know about that. Yes. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. Okay. I got him on the line and I told him something very important. So you did talk to him, so he lied to us. You spoke with him directly? Yeah. Hmm. What did you tell him? I told him to call somebody. Somebody called? Did you tell him to call Shoko? Somebody. I can't tell you anymore. Why not? <sighs> About Shoko. All right. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. Mm -hmm. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. Yep. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Probably not. Yes, I promise. <laughs> You're lying. Oh, do you have a special Iba too? You don't want to release me. I don't think anyone- no, we don't. That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? You really want to know? Here's what I mean! Uh... Oh crap. Oh god! Uh... You'll make a good hostage for me. Crap. Take me to the exit. Now. Yo, he was so much nicer in the other storyline. In the other timeline, he was just like, hey, I'm here. Oh boy, okay. Oh, darn. Are you kidding me? Look, a criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. Sorry, boss. We need to get number 89 back before then. Hi, hi, Captain. Uh, I'm sorry. Boss, it's my fault he got away. No, it's not. There should have been more guards. I'm sorry. Don't waste time apologizing. Go catch him. I'm the one who has to go on an apology tour now. Alright. <sighs> you really messed up this time. Ah, well, you know. My bad. Um... Where's my gun? Number 89 still has it. That's not good. But don't worry. 
I have a spare. Okay. I'll give it to you later. Later? I need it now. How'd he get away? He punched out an officer and stole his clothes. So he was wearing police clothes. He put on the uniform and brought me with him at gunpoint. Okay. Well, he had the gun in his pocket, uh, hiding it. No one on the floor even knew this was happening. He got on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He even stole my security card. He said he'd kill me if I tried anything. I suppose the whole escape took him about uh, five minutes. He must have planned this. He was You're super right ready. about all this. I'm coming down from being terrified for my life. I'm in a bit of a fugue state right now. All right, I'll let you have that. Where is he now? How would I know? Did you put a tracker on him? You're a smart man. After he got to the exit, he let me go. I didn't see where he went. I collapsed right there. All right, summarize for me. Date, I know you are already aware of this, but there are security cameras all over this compound. Yes, makes sense. I checked all of them. Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. So this was super duper planned out. So he had an accomplice? Yes. Did you see who was driving? I did. Who was it? You and I know him well. Renju? Renju! Aren't you falling apart at the seams? I told Boss and Pewter that I will uh, what I will reveal to me. Renju? Yeah. W why? I don't know. Gosh darn, who's calling me now? Date. Moma is calling. Oh, that's fine. Moma? Moma. From the Kumakuras? I'll connect him. Really? Hey, Date. So just got the word. Renju's been seen. Ooh. What? Where? Hey, don't forget our deal. Deal? What deal? You forgot already? No. Yes. I'm talking about Tessa. Oh. Oh, right. right. I'll be waiting. Lamau. What, what should we do? Uh, we have no choice. We have to take her. To Loma? Going yes. To Tessa. A set, you bet. Iris. Oh, 443. We were supposed to be here at like 3 o'clock, weren't we? Uh. Oh my gosh. She's gonna give us a hard time. Late, late, late. Late, 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 late. You're yeah, I know. Home. I'm late. Never! Never! Have you forgotten the vows you exchanged? Vows? We ain't married. Are you drunk? No. Um... Cars not. That's a fun iris face, I won't lie. That's the I'm up to something face. You're drunk. I kid, 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 kid. I'm kidding! You're not old enough to drink. I can't believe I'm gonna shovel forge with Actually, you. Actually, I'm not sure I'm the uh, excited. I'm not sure about the 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 drinking age over there. We are not shovel forging. I was talking about the date, silly. Shovel Forge and a date are synonymous, apparently. No, they're not. Like, Minecraft and date are not synonymous. So where are we going? Uh, we're gonna take her to... Where the dragon is. It's a really nice place, a gangster bar. I mean, we might as well just lay it out for her, right? No point lying to you. I need you to come with me to an office. I'll have to inspect it, though. What? An insect show? I didn't know you were into that. Did you think I said inspect it though was insect show? Well, okay, it's kind of weird, but whatever. Let's go to the insect show. Okay. She didn't completely understand, but I didn't have time to care. Took Iris to the Kermakuras, the Kumakuras. So, where are the Aziptila Praticolas? The Aziptila Praticolas. Tessa! Oh, this man is gonna freak out. Oh! Is this guy the Aziptila Praticola? What's an Aziptila Praticola? <laughs> what are you talking about? Aziptila Praticola. Oh, sorry! Are you the insect trainer? Is that what an insect is that the proper term for an insect trainer? A Zipdilla Praticola? Can I hold on? Where is it? I kinda wanna look I uh, do I have the time? I 
Oh, let's see. Aziptala Pratacola. I gotta do this for you guys, too. A uh, zip, zip, tala, praticola. That's a spider. It's a species of crab spider found throughout Europe and the Middle East. Females reach up to four millimeters. Males grow up to three millimeters. Both sexes have a dark brown, a dark reddish brown. It hunts primarily in undergrowth and can be found under bark or the lower branches of trees. That is an Aziptola praticola. I'm not going to put that up on the screen because I don't want to <laughs> go and grab a spider for you guys to put up on the screen. Go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. Start the insect show now! Wait a minute. <laughs> this is a gangster den. <laughs> Wait a second. This isn't an insect show. Took you long enough. Hey, you tricked me! No, you just misheard. I wasn't trying to trick you. You just misunderstood me. Accurate. But I wanted to see the bugs! I really did! Huh. Oh, so she likes insects as well. Hmm. I wouldn't have pegged that for her. Like, hey, insect. Mama, I had on my coats. end of the deal. You sure did! <laughs> you wanna hear it, I'll you? <laughs> you did, my man, Date. Anything you need? Just tell me, I got you. Mr. Okiura? Yeah. Uh, what's up? Uh, let's apologize, actually. Sorry for bringing you here. I it's okay. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. About as contradictory as meatless. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... We're not thugs, we're just a gang. The old boss was really violent. Yeah. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him funny. Yeah. But after I took over, we went crystal clean. Crystal? Methamphetamine. <laughs> Golly tamale. <laughs> no, we don't do drugs. We don't deal with that stuff. We had to restructure the whole operation. Cut a lot of people off. Throats. Oh my gosh, you guys really are a perfect team. No, not like that. <laughs> hey, here, this is MoMA. Oh yeah, I haven't introduced this Cut old man. Cut their yet. throats. Crystal? Methamphetamines. <laughs> Incredible, I love it. I'm 24. Yeah, okay. MoMA is lying. He is at least 48. Oh, okay. Absolutely. I was gonna say, he doesn't look that Sorry old. Sorry for not introducing myself. My name is MoMA Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. How did you know that? She's not an idiot. Is he stupid? <laughs> you might be, though. <laughs> Iba, you're right. He might be an idiot. This is MoMA. MoMA may not look it, but he's a huge ASAP fan. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. Gambling. Gambling. Bet. Debt. ASAP. Bet. Debt. ASAP. Worries. Uh, forget. Fret. ASAP. Oh my gosh. Now what does she say? ASAP. You bet. He's a big fan. Wow, my catchphrase. Thank you. <laughs> this this is kind of embarrassing. But sorry, Moma. I don't like gangsters. Wow. <gasps> He's like, what? <laughs> Do I have to change my whole way of existing? I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. Aren't you? All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, aren't you a... Uh... Oh, Renji. What happened to Mr. Okiura? I already told you, didn't I? I heard he escaped the hospital. Yeah, I told you so that. So did I. Well, I, I, I think I, did I tell you that too? I think I might have told you that too. But I don't know anything more than that. Please tell me. Renju's escape from the hospital was strange. Three things stuck out to me. I laid out the facts. Mizuki was lured to a place where Shoko's body was found by a message sent from Renju's phone. I found Iris's body in the Okiura, in the Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. That thing is a mouthful, let me tell you. I usually just say, at the warehouse. Earlier today, Renju fled with a prisoner escaping a life sentence, an assassin named number 89. Hold up. 
What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? I won't lie, I was hoping you would tell me more things about number 89, but you were just here for oh, whatever. well... Date saw a parallel world with my dead body in it! Yep. A parallel world? Yep. Never heard of she it? She was pretty naked. Oh, yeah, of course I have. Yeah, yeah, right. Parallel worlds and all that parallel shit. Parallel worlds, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't a parallel when it's two lines perpendicular, same angle, they'll never intersect. Parallel, yes, uh, of course. <laughs> I don't understand it, but I suppose he does. Yo, I love MoMA. Good, because I don't feel like explaining it. Alright, no. But why would Mr. Okira do that? I don't know, I think he's sick. I don't know. He could be a hostage or an accomplice. Hmm. Either way, I need to find him. But he dies on the other line. Here. Mama, what's up? That's an expensive looking ring. Why do you care? Can I have it? Can I have it? What? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to you? Hey, can I have the ring? <laughs> Absolutely, of course you can. Here, take it. Oh my it. gosh, what a suck. Wait, 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 no. I I can't give you this. Why not? You're so cheap. Oh my gosh. Come on, it's not like you're losing it. <laughs> it's exactly like I'm losing Yeah, he would be giving it to you guys. Aww. You guys are a good team. All right, Mama, we're on the same page. I think I said exactly that like <laughs> three minutes ago. Like siblings. Could that be possible? In any in any way could we be siblings? I don't think so. Sosajima is supposedly my father. Maybe he had multiple illegitimate children and his other illegitimate child is Hitomi? Well, he is also lying, so he knows you maybe no. Maybe he is your original father. That could be something, because we don't know your actual dad. That's something we don't know. At first I was like, maybe it's Date or maybe it's uh, 89, but it's not. So maybe it is so. Maybe you are one of So's illegitimate children, and I'm the other one of So's illegitimate children. That could work. Hold on. That could work. That's something that could happen, actually. That's something... That is something that could happen. That's something that I have to think about. Mm okay. I'm gonna think about that one. Thank you, Momo. I, they, you wouldn't, this game does things, and it doesn't do things for no reason, so I'm taking that almost at face value. What else do you got? About the Renju tip. You said on the phone that you saw Renju. Yeah, I had all my people looking for him. So, tell me where he is. Mm, I could. Bruh. Hey, I held up my end. I brought Iris like you asked. I was gonna say, we did our job. Date, come here. Momo took me to the corner of the room. Are you gonna shank me? Dante, I don't quite know how to ask this, but... Can you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? Oh. Oh, that's it? Sure. It's just a handshake. You probably could've shook her hand before. Momo and I broke our huddle. Iris, could you do me a favor? A favor? Yes. He, uh... He wants to see your boobs. Date! What the fuck, dude? I didn't say that! Yeah, like, what the heck, Date? Oh, sorry. What I meant was, he wants to shake your hand. Oh, a handshake. Sure! I would never show my boobs. I took Momo's hand gently. Or, Iris took Momo's hand gently and shook it. I didn't do that. Date didn't do that. Date, this is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> It feels good to be the boss. It feels good to be the boss. That's my so man. How about All right, here it goes. Renju was seen in two places. Two, okay. First, Sunfish Pocket, the maid cafe. We were there. Second, Ikume Shrine. Why those two places? Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. Cool. Got it. Thanks. All right. No problem, bro. Really. Appreciate it. Um, is that it? Where are your goons? No, he already told us. They're out. Yeah, he told me, he told us that he sent everyone out looking for Renju because, you know, he wants to see Asa. So as long as he can find Renju, then looking we for get Renju. Asa. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Oh, I guess that's fair too. Good point. Alright, summarize for me. 
Anyway, Moma, take care of Iris for me. What? What? W what? Wait! You're leaving me here? Yes. You'll be safe with him. Loki, this probably is the safest place for you to be. <laughs> well, not with that face. Never mind. Are you serious? Look at his face! <laughs> he runs a crime syndicate. What if he sells me to the highest bidder? Wow. Tessa, I would never do that! I think he would be the highest bidder. I told you, we're clean now. We all go home on time. We follow government regulations. I don't know if that's See ya. the truest thing. Wait! What about Shovel Forge? I told you I never promised to play with you. That's true. But you promised me a date. Uh oh. D Date! Is this true? No. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna ignore that. Good <laughs> idea. Date, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Yes. Take me with you. If you do, I'll tell you about last night. Oh. Her late night visitor. You and this blackmail, Iris. I don't know where you got it from. Your mom Fine. seems so pleasant, but you. Yay! You're bad. Date, don't ignore me. A clean gang. <laughs> That's just a toy. Oh, just a toy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them alone for a while. We have two places to check. All right. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. Okay. I want to go to the warehouse too. We're going back to the warehouse again? Where you found my dead body. Something bothering you? No, I'm just curious. So we're at three places. Oh, and one more thing. Mm -hmm. Can we eat somewhere? Okay. Food sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. All right, four places. And we got to go back to... Oh, my chest hurts. Getting hard to breathe. Are you dying? You okay? All right. Are you okay? All right, well, let's go. Let's head out. Uh, and then we go to Marble, I guess, at the end of these four. Uh, do we want to start or stop the episode here? Oh, what time is it? Uh, that's fine. We can go through these four places. These these little sections don't usually take too long. Uh, so let's start with Sunfish Pocket, I guess. Right? Sounds good. Y'all want to go to Sunfish Pocket? We'll just go in order. Sunfish Pocket, the shrine, the warehouse, and then uh the 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 diner. Are we going to eat at Masha's Mud 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 Crap? What's the name of that place? The diner. I saw familiar faces as I entered. It was Mizuki. Iris and I sat at Mizuki's table. Holy wow. heck! This is surprising. To see the both of us together? Uh, well, you know what's surprising? Your, uh, I guess your dad owns the place. Never mind. What's going on here? Why are you two together? We're on a date. Oh well, it's. Forget it. Pull him out. Thanks for letting me stay last night. Oh, no trouble at all. Anytime. You could even live with me if you want. Wow. <laughs> That's a great idea. The roommate I have right now really sucks. Well, why is everyone looking at me now? Alright, well, um... How are you? We're not gonna do the x-ray. Was Renju here? I've heard that Renju was sighted here. When do you mean? When? I got the info a few minutes ago, but I don't know when he was seen. That's a good question. Oh. Ringing any bells? Well, he hasn't come by today, but yesterday. <laughs> yesterday? But I was here yesterday. Yeah, we were here with Oda. It was after that. After you and Ota left. When? Why didn't you tell me sooner? You didn't ask. And I don't have any way to contact you. I guess that's fair. Damn it. We just missed him. I wonder if I would have done that in a different order, would we have seen Renju? Hmm. What was he doing? He was looking for Iris. I don't like that. He was asking everyone where she was. Mm. Looking for me? Yeah. Did he give a reason? 
No, not in particular. Iris, can you think of why he would be looking for you? No, not at all. Mizuki? I don't know either. Hmm. Can you tell me anything else about Rinji? Anything else? Well, he did seem really sick. Yeah, because he was banged up. He was pale and sweating a lot. It must have been because of the accident. Yeah. Perhaps. We're not gonna ask him. Well, yeah, we're all sure. Why not? We seem to ask everyone. Well, that. a triple board sea devil or an anacanthus barbatus. Anacanthus barbatus. Well, I guess we're gonna Google that one too. Anacanthus barbatus. Anybody have guesses? Guesses in the uh, guesses in the comments. Oh, the spider just popped up on my screen. Jeez, Louise. Anacanthus barbatus. Anacanthus barbatus, also known as the bearded leather jacket, is a species of fish, a file fish rather, found in the uh, Indo-Pacific. It is found on the reefs at depths from 3 to 8 meters. These species grow from a length of 35 centimeters, oh, to a length of 35 centimeters, TL. Uh, the species is known as a member, is the only member of its genus. That's interesting. That is kind of interesting that it's the only member of its genus because you know there's like a bunch of there's one genus and then there's usually a, a lot of members of the family um like we're homo sapiens and we're all the homo uh line of uh creatures are in that fam or in that genus the only being the only species in the genus is really interesting you would think that it would fit into a different um genus if that were the case but that's unique i wonder how many species actually classify like that well let's play this game <laughs> that's an awful anacarthus barbatus that's gonna i'm actually that's i like that a lot thank you i'm glad i looked that up uh what how do you feel about our, our Mizuki home comes here? here a lot she's really friendly with everyone Wait. i like it here everyone treats me nice is it because you're the daughter of the owner no, it's not like that. Oh. We're BFFs. She wields extraordinary power with that dragon. I was going to say. The Okiura family is really something else. Right, they own everything. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that again. All right, what's up? Oh, right. The fishery warehouse. Are you going to tell me the same thing as before? Why are you asking me about that? Because somebody was dead there. I was just curious. That company was made by my grandpa, right. but daddy has nothing to do with it. I don't know anything about the warehouse. Okay. Alright, well I guess we're gonna press her again. I thought I told you this already. Don't ask me the same questions over and over. Oh my gosh. Date, look. <laughs> She's lying? About the warehouse? Why? Possibly. She may just be excited or upset. She might be upset. Bow Ranger. The police asked me a bunch of questions. But I don't know where he is. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you gonna do? Scold me or something? No. Why do you care what I do? Calm down. Why are you so angry? Right. I'm not angry. In fact, I'm feeling good. Na, 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 na. Um, excuse me. What? Why is everyone taking me to the corner of places? The mermaid took me to the corner of the store. Mizuki was crying earlier. Oh, that's sad. Also, why am I so tall when I'm ever whenever I'm looking at someone? Crying? Yes. We were trying to cheer her up. What happened to her mom was That's fair. And we thought she was having a hard time. She must have come here looking for company. Hmm. That's probably why she stayed with Iris last night. She didn't want to be alone. That's fair. Shoko's body is still under the jurisdiction of the police. There has not been a ceremony, nor has the body been cremated. Hmm. The culprit has not been caught, and we cannot locate Renju. And on top of that, her roommate has abandoned her. Calm yourself. I did not abandon her. In any case, there are many ways you could calm Mizuki down. Oh, Mizuki how? is just trying to act strong. Okay. Please, try to understand. 
You, when you're not putting on this mermaid facade, you're a pretty decent human being. Not mermaid. Can I, can, can I talk to her? No, she's just sitting there. Oh, that sucks. All right. Do you say anything extra now? Nope. All right, I guess we're going to Iris. Uh, about Renji. Mr. Okira helped me when I was just starting out. You know how my mom is single? Yes. He really supported her. Oh. He even changed my diaper when I was a little baby. I got hired by Lemniscape all because of him. Iris used to stream all her own content. Like singing and dancing and gaming and stuff. Mm -hmm. But before we knew it, she went viral. Wow. Right, I heard about that. That's how she started getting offers, right? So I guess you knew Iris before she was Asa, right? Right. But because Iris' mom knows Renju, she decided to go with Lemniske. But there's more to it than that. <laughs> there are other reasons. Daddy was totally taken in by her talent. Huh. Her talent? Dancing, really. Her dancing is what got her into Lemniske. You're right. When I saw her dancing on the, the, the webcam, I was like, wow, that's better than your little idol dance. And your little idol dancing sucks. Not idol. I like idol. Like, like, uh, waiting. He knew ever since on this she little was screen right here. that she would be talented. He didn't want any other agencies to have her. I don't know why it just came to me, but like, I keep forgetting that what is like right there where Rinju is, that's just Iba displaying information. Like, in case you forgot, this is what he looks like. <laughs> I didn't know that. Daddy's not the type to give compliments. Oh. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. Well. I didn't know he thought of me that way. Yeah. He thinks you're very talented. All right, back over to Iris. Uh, do you know this mermaid? She's like, my friend from back when I worked here. I was about to, I was literally just about to say, hold on, wait, no, of course you know her. You used to work here. I remember that. We would hang out outside of work, too. Okay. We'd go to haunted places and UFO sightings and stuff. Y'all do some wild stuff in these games. Blow those boys away! Blow those boys away! What does that even mean? Yeah, blow those boys! Um, uh, no, 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 no. You, I need you to say the away after that one. You, no, you, you, you ruined it, Mizuki. You did. Please don't. No, God. Mizuki, uh... Yeah, no, that's no, Mizuki. Miz uh... You really uh, shouldn't say that. No, not at all. Oh, uh, you forget, please just say the away afterwards. Okay. Your visitor last night. Iris, I still need to know. What were you doing Sunday at 2 a.m.? You haven't fulfilled your promise. Oh my gosh. This is the date. I fulfilled my promise. I told you. No info until the date is complete. Oh Don't gosh. you get it? This date isn't over yet. This is ridiculous. All right, you like dancing, right? More than sleeping and eating. Dancing, sleeping, and eating. Dancing's fun. I would maybe put it after sleeping and eating, though. Sleeping's number one. Eating's number. Sleeping and eating might be tied. I like the both of them. Well, maybe about the same as eating. All right, well, that's a little bit better. I know some people don't like to sleep. Anyway, I've always them. loved moving my body, ever since I was a little girl. Yep, your mama told me. And you're fast, too. Yeah, I did a lot of track meets. Interesting. Were you always the anchor? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really dope. That's amazing. Yeah, I didn't know that about her. I told you that Iris is the goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology, right? Yeah. She was the messenger of the gods. She had to be really fast. Huh. Rainbows being so fast to disappear was the source of the legend. Hmm. You're as fast as your namesake, then. You want to race? <laughs> sure. Let me get the chance. That's pretty cool. Uh, could you show me your dance? Oh. Right here? Sure. Oh, I want to see, too. Me too! I would also like to see that. To mm, I don't know. Come on, just show us! Wow. But... But... Alright, I'll go set up. Oh wow, we really threw her under the bus, didn't we? Wait! Mermaid didn't listen and hurried off. Jeez. Uh, my bad. Fine, if you insist. Yay! Was that over the intercom? Was All right, intercom? world. Oh, we're about to get actually get a... ready. See my dance, Invincible Rainbow Arrow. Hit it! 
Okay. This old man over here, like, ah, yes. <laughs> My favorite song. You'll think that I'm buying this old tale of mine. A journey through time. A permanent fire, cold frost on the pyre. Fruit never expires. You've seen in your eyes. You've seen in your mind. While the old father has while the blind need the blind, the marble loses shine. The eye clouds by design. But we know. Not a bad bop. You're the best. That was pretty good. Everybody just got one real good free show. That was not bad. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. That was a good song. That song. Mr. Okira wrote the music and I wrote the lyrics. Okay, and I get that. Some of those lyrics are a little suspect. A little suspect, Iris. So it holds a special place in my heart. It's like a three quarters rhyme you got there. I saw your what? Eyes, mind, and close. Hard eye. I get you. It's hard to make a run. That's right. I forgot he wrote music. Yeah, he's really talented. I look up to him. Oh. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. Wow, more than me? More than this mermaid? More than Mizuki? We're your friends. <laughs> Here I am just tossing me into the bus like, friends? Summarize for me. Unfortunately, we didn't find Renju here. But we discovered that he was looking for Iris. Do 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 I'm sorry, I really like this song actually. Uh, but we discovered he was looking for Iris. Yes. Why? I don't know. Nefarious. Well, no. So this actually relates back to the other storyline. Uh, he would be looking for Iris because he would be. Iris is the next person to. I I don't know. I still don't know. Iris is the next person to the chain killing. I'm still 100% on the chain killing theory, but I don't know why. We can think about that later. For some reason on this path, because of the car accident, the chain is broken. Let's get going. Yeah, you're right. Iris is sitting there. Alright, so let's go to the shrine. To the shrine. Holy heck! You okay? <laughs> it's okay. You passing out like violence. Just... Uh, I'm sorry, Sky Lord. Step there. You have you have some you you this is not, this is the second time you've passed out. There's you have some sort of medical issue that I don't know about. Interesting. Iris, what's good? Your thoughts? Thoughts? It's nostalgic. This place is a memorable one for me. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone. Six years ago. Someone. I used to call him Uncle. Unc. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. I thought of him as a father. You know, I am an uncle. But one day, he just disappeared. <laughs> She's talking about... Hitomi's lover. Yes. Falco. <laughs> More than likely. About this uncle. When you asked me why I became an idol, I wasn't being entirely truthful. What did I ask you about that? I told you that it was because I wanted to become famous. Mm -hmm. But more specifically, it was for uncle. 
I've been looking for him for six years. That's a long time. But I didn't find him anywhere. Because he went to jail. Your mama didn't, I didn't tell know you. where else to look. Maybe you should ask your mama where uncle went. To jail. So instead of me finding him, I thought that he could find me instead. Hmm. You think if you became famous, he'd contact you? Hmm. That's not a bad plan. Yeah. If she had the skills to do it. So that is why she became an idol. I mean... It's also been my dream since I was little. That's a part of it, too. So why do you use the name Asa? Shouldn't you use your real name? That's a good point. Oh no, I don't have to. He was the one who came up with the name Asa. Huh. He told me that if I ever became an idol, I should use that name. What are you looking at? A flower over there. What? Those? Flower? You can't see it from here, can you? I know it's there because I've been to this shrine before. What's that, Envy? Nanovision, maybe? I don't know. An Night iris. vision, okay. More specifically, a winter iris. Oh. This is the same flower that was on display at Iris's house. Iris's favorite flower, 100%. Winter iris. Yo, homie. Looking at Winter Iris, aren't you? Yeah. How did you know? Superpowers. It's the same kind that's at my house. Yeah, I know. I told you about what it means, right? I Good remember. news and hope. Yes. Iris is also a part of the Eye. Yep. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. Yep. A messenger goddess. I told you at Sunfish Pocket, right? Yes. That's why the flower means good news and hope. About this shrine. About Renji or about Renji? Mr. Okura isn't here. I mean, of course he isn't. It's not like we came here right away. He's already taken off. Yeah. Too bad. It looks like there are no further clues here. It appears we've wasted our time. About the shrine. It's called Ikume Iribiko Isachi no Mikoto. Or sometimes Ikume Tenno or Ikume no Mikoto. There are legends about this place written in the old text. It's a shrine dedicated to the gods. The old legend goes like this. One day, Ikume Iribiko sent one of his followers, Taji Momori, on an urgent quest mm -hmm. to find a mysterious magical fruit. Interesting. A fruit called Tokijiku no Kaku. Tokijiku no Kaku. It's said that eating it will grant you immortality. The fruits of immortality. Thank you, Aiba. After many hardships, Taji Momori was able to find the fruit. But by the time he got back, Ikume Iribiko had died. Oh. Taji Momori mourned. He handed half of the fruit to the man's wife, mm -hmm. and he left the other half on Ikume Iribiko's grave, then died on the spot. Jeez, that sounds like a bad it luck It is said fruit. that that fruit is still inside the shrine behind us. Interesting. Really? I guess it would never rot if it's a fruit of immortality. Fruit of immortality. Yes. Immortality, huh? Not interested? No, not really. I'd rather have normality than immortality. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen for you, Date. Not if I've experienced anything in this story. Alright. Date, we have no time to waste. We should get moving. Alright, we'll head over to the warehouse. Got then. it. Alonzi? And we'll go in to the warehouse. <sighs> go in to the warehouse, baby. Go in here at. It. I'm sure. At the Your warehouse. Yeah, I saw right it too. Here. But I'm here now. Yeah, just lay down on that table. For Maybe me. I'm a ghost. Uh, he's freaking that face. That's my favorite iris face. You don't look like a floating sheet. You have legs. But maybe they're not legs. Maybe they're my boobs. Tried to picture Iris's breast swinging down there like that, and then decided not to. Didn't you say that you saved me in your dream? Uh, Dante, what the heck? <laughs> Man, Iris, what the heck? <laughs> uh, yes, I did. What did you mean by that? I told you that I'm with an organization called Abyss, right? Yeah, you told me two days ago. We uh, find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call a Somnium, a dream world projected by their subconscious. 
That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? We have a machine that we call the sink machine. What is that? It's a sink machine. <laughs> That's not an explanation. Tell me how it works. Well, um, I can explain, but it will require a bit of background to understand. Background? The BBB, the wetted system, or the nanotechnology? Uh, 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 the only one I don't know about is the BBB, so we'll start there. I've heard of it. How do you know? What the is blood it? Brain barrier, right? The blood brain barrier. Inside the school, there's an army of little teeny tiny soldiers that surround the brain. They protect the brain from bad stuff in the blood, right? That's almost it. Yeah. What? The blood brain barrier describes the architecture of the micro vessels of the brain. Thank you for putting in the actual words, Iba. It is a kind of shield that protects the brain. To get through, an object must be no larger than 0.4 nanometers. Ooh. Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. That's interesting. I did not know about that. Huh. You know about the watchet system? I guess not. No, I know what it is. How do you know what it's it is? It's the core programming behind AI, right? That's right. What's wrong? What? You're shivering. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm? To borrow Pewter's explanation. No, go back to that. With the advent of the Wadjet system, we can extract the data of the human psyche. This data is sent to the brain, which achieves the sync. That's... I don't like that. Nanotech? Yeah! Maybe that was Iris's dead body and this is just a robot. Maybe it's a doll. Are we playing, uh, Your Turn to Die? Technology related to really small things. Like, really teeny tiny things. Hmm. And when they make a machine... They're called nano machines. There you go. I heard they use them a lot for medical and tech fields. Hmm. Some of the cutting-edge nano machines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go, beep, beep, beep. That's what Mom said. Well, I don't know if it was like beep beep or rrr, rrr. But anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. I don't think they do any of that. <laughs> only a few people can afford it. Or rather, make it. either of those sounds. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology. But he's pretty liberal, so... Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Alright. Largely accurate. Nano is a prefix meaning 10, 10 to, to the, the negative, negative ninth power. Yep. A nanometer is therefore 0 0.00000001 meters. Yes, the thank you, machine Iba. uses machines approximately 2.16 nanometers long. That's still too large to break the barrier, right? Viruses are on average 20 to 970 nanometers. Wow. So sync nanomachines are far smaller than that. This allows them to access neural circuitry. Is it? During a sync, the nanomachines are used to write in the sinker's data. I thought it was 0.4 nanometers that it couldn't be bigger than that. And those are 2.6. All right, well, tell me how sync works. Okay, you have the basics down. Let me explain how syncing works. All right. Sinkers like me equip the sync gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables, and on the tip of each of these cables is a special nano machine. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. Do you know why? Because they're too big. The BBB soldiers say go away and push them back? Okay, so they were too big. I well, get that. yeah, kind of. But for the sync to work, we have to get the nano machines into the brain itself. Right. How do we do that? Drill a hole in the skull? No. No. In Shovel Forge, you can use a pickaxe and. We're not playing Minecraft. No, it has nothing to do with tools. We don't have to open a hole. Skulls already have holes in them. One of those holes is the optic canal, which is a nerve canal located behind the eyes. The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes. They go through your eyes. Then go to the back of your eye socket. Then through the optic canal to the sea. Ooh, okay. The sea? The sea of brain cells, anyway. That sounds kind of romantic. It's only a chunk of protein. That's interesting. Once the nano cables arrive at their destination, they can begin the sync process. They slide into the brain like roots of a tree. Mm -hmm. 
and on the tip of each cable, the nanomachine sends and receives data. This is controlled by the Wadjet system. Makes sense. And that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. Exchange? Think of it this way. The human brain has a max capacity of one psyche, one consciousness. Multiple instances of consciousness inside one brain can cause a total collapse of higher brain functions. Yikes. You know how a car only has one steering wheel? If there were two, there would be accidents all over the place. Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? Okay. Eh, maybe it wasn't the best <laughs> I was like, yeah, but... What I'm trying to say is that the human body can only hold one person. Mm -hmm. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will break. Excellent. I see. Keep going. Because of this, the sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain. This is the most in-depth definition of sync that we've gotten so far. And the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sync are their memories. Like a house with no one inside. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. All within six minutes. There's a time limit? Yes. Or else, the house will collapse on our heads. That's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. The human body can only store one consciousness at a time. The neural circuits would become too deeply entwined with one another. To put it simply, the sinker would be trapped inside the subject's house. Thank you for explaining it. I don't completely understand how sync works, but still. Just don't tell anyone. This is extremely confidential. <clears throat> it's okay, I won't. Date, tell me this. Hmm? Who did you sync with yesterday? Didn't I show you his picture? Congressman So Sejima. So that's why you know so much about him. But you've never met him, right? I haven't, I swear. Hmm. Hey, Date, you saw my corpse here, right? Yes. I did. I'm sure of it. And in so stream, you saved me from getting killed. Correct. Yeah. And then somehow, I resurrected. Yeah. Hmm. Date, that means you're... Achoo! Date, is the cold too much for Iris? Oh, yeah, she's wearing nothing. We should get out of here. Yeah. Freezing too. I was gonna say, why are we just standing in here? We could have this conversation outside of the warehouse. Iris, let's get out of here for now. Roger that. Right, well, we'll go to Mashasita Diner next time. That sounds like a plan. Next episode, because this episode is getting a little bit long. Next episode, we gotta go to Mashasita Diner. We gotta go to Marvel, and then we'll see what else happens. I guess, right? All right. Um, cause I really do want to sit down and just think about sync. This is, this is me ending the episode just for me. <laughs> because I... That seems really important. Cause we just had this whole, we had a really in-depth conversation about sync. Um... Huh. Alright, yeah, that's interesting. This route has been interesting so far. We will see more of this route next time. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the Year of the Horizon. Stay classy. We'll see you next time. And as always, toodaloo, flight crew. Thanks for watching.